A very good morning to all. Myself, Dr. Iresh Bhavi, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, BLDES College of Engineering and Technology, Vijaypur. Today, I will be delivering a lecture on subtopic in the finite element method. That is, derivation of element stiffness matrix for a linear bar element using potential energy approach. Here figure shows a linear bar element. Linear bar element in the sense it will have two nodes and at each node one degrees of freedom that is x displacement u1 at node 1 and x displacement u2 at node 2. Let f1 and f2 be the forces acting on the node on the element at node 1 and node 2 respectively. Due to these forces let the displacement produced at node 1 be say u1 and at node 2 we say u2. Let Le be the length of the element and let A be the cross-sectional area of the element and E be the Young's modulus of the material of the element. Then the equilibrium equation for this element can be written in the matrix form as K into U is equal to F where K is a element stiffness matrix for this linear bar element and U is the uh, nodal displacement vector. Vector in the sense a vector is a matrix which is having either a single row or a single column. So U is a displacement vector, nodal displacement vector and F is the nodal force vector. The potential energy expression for a bar element can be given as it is the sum of strain energy and work potential. Strain energy will be due to the internal resistance of the material of the body whereas work potential will be due to the external forces applied on the body. Hence the strain energy expression for a bar element is given as half 0 to L A E du by dx bracket square dx whereas work potential is given as minus of f1 u1 minus of f2 u2 so work potential is the product of the force acting into its corresponding displacement hence f1 is the force at node 1 and its corresponding displacement is u1 and f2 is the uh, force at node 2 and its corresponding displacement is u2. Hence work potential is equal to minus of f1 u1 minus of f2 u2. Here negative sign is taken because work potential is work done on the body. Thus the total potential energy expression can be given as the sum of strain energy plus work potential. Now let us assume a linear polynomial displacement function because as it is a linear bar element hence the displacement model assumed for this bar element will be a linear polynomial hence we have to assume a linear polynomial for the displacement function that is u is equal to a0 plus a1x and this polynomial displacement function assumed should satisfy the boundary conditions that is at x is equal to 0 that is at node 1 the displacement u is equal to u1. Substituting this in equation 3, we get a0 is equal to u1. Similarly, at node 2, that is at x is equal to L, u is equal to u2. Substituting these in equation 3, we get a1 is equal to u2 minus u1 by Le. Therefore, substituting the values of A0 and A1 in equation 3, the equation 3 becomes U is equal to U1 plus U2 minus U1 by Le into X. Differentiating this with respect to X, we get du by dx is equal to U2 minus U1 by Le. Substituting the value of du by dx in the potential energy expression pi, that is in equation 2, we get pi is equal to half 0 to Le Ae u2 minus u1 by Le bracket square into dx minus of 
into bracket f1 u1 plus f2 u2. Now let us simplify this one that is integrating this part then pi will become a e by 2 u2 minus u1 by 2 a le bracket square into le minus of f1 u1 plus f2 u2. Simplifying that is expanding this u2 minus u1 bracket square we will get a e by 2 le u2 square plus u1 square minus 2 u1 u2 minus of f1 u1 plus f2 u2 is kept as it is. Then in order to obtain the equilibrium of the system that is from the principle of minimum potential energy the potential energy should be minimized that is the condition for obtaining the minimum potential energy is the differentiating the uh, potential energy functional with respect to its own variable and equating it to zero that is do pi by do ui is equal to zero first let us differentiate pi potential energy pi with respect to u1 so do pi by do u1 is equal to a e by 2 le 2 u1 minus 2 u2 minus of f1 is equal to zero hence a e by le u1 minus u2 is equal to f1 now let us differentiate this potential energy pi with respect to u2 that is we get a e by 2 le into bracket 2 u2 minus 2 u1 minus of f2 is equal to 0 hence a e by le is equal to 2 u2 minus u1 a e by le into u2 minus u1 is equal to f2 let us call this as equation 5 now writing down equation 4 and equation 5 in matrix form we get a e by le is common taken outside so it is 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 into u1 u2 is equal to f1 f2 this is of the standard form of equilibrium equation as shown in equation 1 that is k into u is equal to f where k is the element stiffness matrix that is k is equal to a e by le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so this is the element stiffness matrix for a linear bar element now let us derive the strain and displacement matrix and stress matrix for a linear bar element here figure shows a linear bar element in cartesian coordinates and here the figure shows a linear bar element in natural coordinates let x1 be the x coordinate of node 1 and x2 be the x coordinate of node 2 hence length of the element will be x2 minus x1 in the natural coordinates so zeta will be equal to minus 1 at node 1 and zeta will be equal to plus 1 at node 2 okay let n1 and n2 be the shape functions at nodes 1 and 2 and let u1 be the displacement of node 1 and u2 be the displacement of node 2 okay. then we know that the strain energy in the element is given by epsilon is equal to du by dx in terms of partial derivatives of the displacement with respect to zeta that is natural coordinates is given by epsilon is equal to this du by dx can be written as du u by du zeta into 2 zeta by du x let us call this as equation 6 but we know that the field variable in terms of nodal variables and shape functions can be given as the field variable or the displacement u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 where n1 is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 and n2 is equal to 1 plus zeta by 2 are the shape functions for the linear bar element which we have already dis, uh, derived in the previous classes the substituting the value of n1 and n2 in equation 6 we get u is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 into u1 plus 1 plus zeta by 2 into u2 now let us differentiate this u with respect to zeta once we will get minus u1 by 2 plus u2 by 2 that is minus u1 plus u2 by 2 
let us call this as equation 7. Now we know that the relation between Cartesian coordinate x and the natural coordinate zeta is given by zeta is equal to 2 times of x minus x1 by x2 minus x1 minus 1. Hence, differentiating this with respect to x, we get do zeta by do x is equal to 2 by x2 minus x1. But x2 minus x1 is the length of the element Le. Hence, this is equal to 2 by Le. Let us call this as equation 8. Now, substituting the values of do u by do zeta and do zeta by do x from equation 7 and equation 8 into equation 6, we get the strain epsilon is equal to minus u1 plus u2 by 2 into 2 by Le. That is minus u1 plus u2 by Le. Now let us split this one and write it in the form of matrix. We get epsilon is equal to 1 by Le minus 1 plus 1 into u1 u2. Hence, in the matrix form it can be written as epsilon is equal to b into u where b is this part that is 1 by le minus 1 1 and u you already know that it is a nodal displacement vector it's here where b is the is called as the strain displacement matrix that is given by 1 by le minus 1 plus 1. It is called strain displacement matrix because B is relating strains epsilon with the displacement U. Hence, it is called as strain displacement matrix. Now, stress matrix can be given from the Hooke's law that we know that from Hooke's law, stress is directly proportional to strain. That is, sigma is stress sigma is equal to E into epsilon where E is the Young's modulus of the material of the element. And stress matrix can be given as sigma is equal to E into B into U because just now we have derived that the strain epsilon is equal to product of the matrices B and the nodal displacement vector U. Hence the stress matrix sigma is equal to E into B into U. Okay. So this is the derivation of the stress uh, strain displacement matrix and stress matrix for a linear bar element thank you for patient hearing thank you